Welcome to the Art Lady channel. Today I'm going to show you how to do a Van Gogh line drawing of the Starry Night. And this is going to be a very simplified version for children of all ages. I use these lessons in my classes and my children are from ages 6 to 12 that I teach in a public elementary school. So you're welcome to join in if you'd like. Um, but this lesson is going to be very simplified as you can see breaking down Van Gogh's Starry Night into easy shapes for all to draw. To start off the picture, we're going to work on the cypress tree that's on the very left. So we're going to go to the left side of our page at the very top, and I'm gonna go over about four fingers wide. So if I place my um, pinky finger at the very edge of the page, I'm just going to make a mark at the very near the very top here, just a number one right here. And that's where the tip of the cypress tree will start. And so we're going to come down from the tip and we're going to kind of diagonally go out. And I'm going to diagonally go out on the other side. And then we're just going to bring these lines down. And it's going to be just kind of a free form, kind of slightly curved down. And I'm going down about four, four fingers wide. And I'm gonna do the same on the other side. This is just the tip of that cypress tree. And we're gonna taper this and slowly get wider as we come down to the bottom. So I'm gonna come down a little bit more and then I'm just gonna give a little bit of a jag here. I'm gonna go up and back we're putting in some of the tips of this tree. I'm coming down diagonal, then I'm just gonna go up and back again. Um, it almost looks like when it's a line sketch, like flames coming up. And these are just tips up and then down. These are just tips of the growth of the tree coming up, growing upward, like branches. Diagonal, and then there's a slight little V shape here and then come back real thin and then we have a little bit of a curve here which is going to curve around the bottom of the tree. I'm going to do very similar. Now if these jags aren't exactly, these jagged tips aren't exactly the same, that's okay because this stuff is just minor details. I'm going to do the same on this side. This has a little bit of a, I'm going to come down diagonal, up and then back a little bit taller tip here. And then we come out, so down and out, and then I'm coming out again diagonal, and then back. And inside we have various colors of green, dark greens, almost, it looks quite dark, almost like a green and black blend, and so there's lots of different kinds of lines in here. So we can add just some kind of growing design in here. Just some light sketch lines. And when you paint this in or color this in, you can fill it with uh, all of those wonderful values that Van Gogh used. Now I'm gonna set up some of the hill lines. So I'm gonna go to the very center of the page on this side. So we go from top to bottom and we find the middle. And here, I'm gonna put a slight diagonal, and I'm gonna come up and down, and I stop at the cypress tree. Now I'm gonna continue this across the page. So I'm just gonna go behind this, these little tips, coming slightly diagonal up, And then we're gonna go slightly diagonal up, just a graceful line till you meet the edge. So it's a graceful little hill coming up. And then I'm gonna skip down a little bit here and I'm gonna make another rolling hill. It's gonna come up and down, up and down, and then just some little bumps in here as we reach the edge. 
If your hills aren't exactly, that's fine. It doesn't have to be identical. You can put some little mini valleys in. Sometimes when the hill forms, it forms little, little crevices here. And then on this side, I'm gonna add a little hill too. So I'm gonna come off the cypress tree and just go down right here. And then from here, I'm just gonna add a little bit of design in here. So when you're doing this, you can add different values in your mountains and hills. The next thing I'm gonna do I'm gonna work up the bottom corner now. This has some lower bushes here, so we can just add some kind of curves and backwards. It looks like a letter C and then a backwards letter C. And then I can have a bump, which is like an N curve. Let's just do another N curve and another N curve right off the page. And then there's a little bit of a, um, a structure here, like a house. For the house, I'm going to come across straight, and this is going to be horizontal with the picture plane. So the bottom of the, right here, I'm going to follow this line and keep it parallel with the, with the bottom of the page here. And I'm going to come across horizontal, and then I'm going to do a vertical down, and then horizontal over. This forms a little roof, and then just vertical down little building structure here. I'm going to put the church in next. And all of the other little bit buildings, we're going to just kind of do some random buildings. And then, of course, you can add your own at the bottom here. But I want to do the church um, steeple here. So this is going to be um, I'm going to find where the mountains are here and the bottom of my page and I'm going to divide that in half and just put a horizontal line. And if you look at the line, it's almost as wide as my uh, fingernail here. It's about a quarter inch. A little bit bigger than a quarter inch. Now I'm going to come up vertical and back down, very pointy. And then from here, I'm going to come down two lines, vertical two straight lines vertical down. And then I'm going to do a diagonal line here, and this is going to be part of the roof line. And then I'm going to come from this diagonal line, I'm going to come down and down. It's almost like a capital letter A. And then I'm coming over horizontal. And then this is going to come down vertical. And then from here, I'm going to do a curved window. And then below this, I'm going to do a straight line on each side and box it in. And then I'm going to box this in as well. And from here, I'm going to come over straight, down diagonal, over, over horizontal, down vertical. And below this church is also a, it's in the village, so there's lots of layers of houses. So we can even do another house line here. We can do a roof line, which is horizontal. Then I can do two diagonals. Then I'm gonna connect it together. Do a diagonal. and then two verticals. Now you can put in little windows. These are just little tiny lines. There's another little house structure. There's a couple actual little house structures over here. So if you wanna do horizontal, then we can get some roofs, which is a shape of an A, capital letter A, and then I do a diagonal and connect, horizontal, connect. And then we have just some rounded bushes here, just some curves, and then do a few vertical lines down. And then if you wanna put just a little line in for the door. 
And that's how you make some ho a house structure. And then there's a nice little front view one over here that's kind of interesting too. I'm gonna do the letter A, capital letter A with no inside. Then this roof side drops down a little bit longer. And then we have a shorter one here. And this line is kind of, it's a slightly diagonal. It's kind of, and then this one is slightly diagonal as well. And then I'm just gonna connect the roof line. And then I'm gonna come down, down and over. And of course you could do some doors, some windows, just squares. And then if you want a little attic window up at the top, you can. This is more of a front view home. And in the back here, there's lots of little, uh, well, here's a bigger mountain. So I'm gonna come from the cypress tree down and then I'm gonna come over to the steeple of the church. Just kind of give it a random, just kind of a slightly waved horizontal line. And then these are smaller, and this is just like rainbow arches, just smaller uh, trees, the tree line here. So I'm just gonna give some here to show that this is a different color green. And as we get closer down here, the houses get a little bit bigger. So I'm just gonna do a horizontal, vertical, uh, diagonal, diagonal, connect them and come right off the page. This has a little bit of a door opening here, up and back. Maybe some windows, just little squares, and a diagonal line down here, and then a vertical. And this has some greenery, so we can just do some curves, like bushes. And this is how you can fit the village in. So you can make your own houses and just connect with some greenery. And this you can do on your own here. Now we're gonna work on our stars in the Starry Night. I want to get the major ones in first. So we're going to do a very large circular shape here. And I'm just lightly sketching this out. I'm not making it as drastic, uh, you know, a complete line. I'm just kind of giving broken lines. So this will be our larger circular area here. I'm doing a backward C here. It's almost like moon shape. Then I'm coming over and I'm gonna do another orb here. So it's gonna start with a small circle in the middle. And then I'm doing a broken line coming around it here. Then there's a smaller little orb up here. Circle. And then I'm doing broken lines around it. Now I'm gonna get the path of the, it's like a Milky Way galaxy. It's a light color swirls that come through here. So I'm gonna start off near the corner, up here, dropping down about an inch, and I'm gonna do a down curve to the cypress here, the tree. And then I'm gonna curve diagonal up and then back down. So this is gonna be a nice curve. And then from here, in the very center of this curve here, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start curving this way. So I've come around this way. Now this is almost like a big giant C curve. I'm gonna come up to this orb and then I'm gonna swirl back down and in. There's another small orb here, so I'm gonna start off with a little tiny circle. And then my orb comes around. 
Now this is, I'm gonna do some broken lines. This swirls around and then it meets together. This swirls this way. And then this is all the swirl in here as it comes and swirls around. So the path of your lines when you paint this will go this way. And then this swirls comes down here as well, here to here. So your path of, say if you're gonna do it with oil pastel, this will be drawn this way in these lines with oil pastel, then it'll swirl this way and around with oil pastel. There's a few other little orbs here. On this side, there's another one here and one closer to the cypress. And so you do your swirls of color, just curling around. And then there's five of them up at the top. Now, we don't have to have exactly five, whatever you can fit in. I'm gonna do, and there's smaller ones up here. If you wanna do it like Van Gogh, he had five. There, and then one lower. Right there. But that is the basic sketch of Van Gogh's Starry Night. At the bottom here, there are some some more bushes. This is a lot of bigger trees here. So if you do a horizontal line and then some kind of curves right in here. And then the edge has some curves too. There. And you can tuck in a little house. If you want to put a little house in here too, you can. In between here, you can tuck in houses wherever you like to show the village. which is that simple boxy shape I showed you. And just fill in any spaces like this with some greenery. Right there. And there you have a simple line sketch of the Starry Night.